Welcome to the Corporate Dropout Podcast. I'm your host, Alessia Citro. If you're sick of the corporate hamster wheel and looking to feel inspired and empowered to live a high vibe life as your own boss, you're in the right place. Dare to drop out in three, two, one. Before we start the show, I want to tell you about the business I'm launching. Starting a business can be hard work, but it doesn't need to be confusing too. And that is why I founded Thea Collective, a learning community for entrepreneurs. Learn from experts across law, finance, tax, operations, marketing, sales, and more, and get the blueprint on how to set up and run your own business. Text biz, that's B-I-Z, to 949 949- Five seven seven eight seven zero nine, or head to thea-collective.com to learn more. Hello, friends. I am back on the show today with Lauren Romero, viral TikToker and founder of Pink Door Agency, a full-service social media management and digital marketing agency. After becoming a corporate dropout in December 2019, she launched her agency in April 2021 and has seen massive success in less than a year. She's also a wife, mom of two, and makes some of the funniest TikToks you'll ever see. Make sure to go listen to our full interview together that dropped yesterday. And today she's back to teach us five easy ways to grow your social media as a small business. Lauren, thank you for coming back on the show. I'll let you take it away. So as a small business myself, I have a few tips for you guys to really take your social media to the next level. You can apply this across all different platforms. But my number one tip and the reason that I have the follower account that I have now and the reason that I have the opportunities that I have both business and professional and personal is because of consistency. Consistency is just showing up every single day and being present on your social media accounts, whether that is on your stories, doing a live, connecting with your audience through the comments, doing a video, setting up your phone and videoing yourself doing things and then putting it up for your audience to see. Just showing up every single day is huge. And building a strong community on your social media will lead to potential customers, clients, and opportunities for your business. That leads me to number two, which is video everything. Video things that you don't find significant or things that you think, oh, everybody knows how to do this or everybody has seen this. Some of the biggest viral videos over on TikTok right now for small businesses are people boxing orders. Something as small as showing yourself boxing an order and having your customers write their purchase number in the comments, and then you can tag them in the next video and show yourself boxing their order. If you are a retail company, box it up, show it, show your warehouse, show behind the scenes, show a day in the life. You do not always have to show your face either when it comes to videos, showing things like behind the scenes and showing your desk and showing your workspace is a great way to not have to show your face, but also connect and put out value. That's another thing that leads me to number three is providing value for your clients. Don't be always thinking about how you can promote your newest product and promote your business, but show them some type of value. Who is your audience? Is it a mom? What are the trends in the mother space? What are mothers struggling with? What are things going on in the news right now related to mothers? What are tips that you can give to mothers that relate to your business? If you are a health food, talk about some of the trends going on in the health space and some of the reasons why your products touch on those points for your customers. And showing up, showing your face, showing behind the scenes, providing value, but also knowing who your target audience is and where are they. That's a big one to decide what platform you should put a lot of your focus into. So there's so many different platforms out there. You have YouTube, you have TikTok, you have Pinterest, you have LinkedIn, you have Facebook, you have Instagram. Who is your audience and where do they hang out the most and what are their digital tendencies and what are they doing in the digital space. If you are something that is aesthetically pleasing and you have something that's beautiful, like an interior designer, for instance, or an amazing children's boutique, and you take gorgeous photos all the time and you have beautiful things around you and your work is beautiful, maybe focus your attention on Pinterest 
Pinterest has a lot of great ROI. It also has direct website traffic ability where you can put up an image and they click it and it goes straight to your website, which is something that the other platforms do not have. Instagram doesn't have the ability to click unless you're running an ad and putting shop here to go over. Most of the images are not clickable. Same with TikTok unless you run ads over there. Are you an industry that wants to touch on Gen Z in the next coming wave of clients and customers and you want to reach those people, check out TikTok. If you're something that is very interesting through video and maybe it's shorter videos or longer videos, then you should explore YouTube or TikTok. YouTube even has YouTube Shorts now, which is a version competing with TikTok for short length videos. And then also building a community running polls, answering questions, responding to all of their comments, their DMs, connecting with them, showing your face, showing the face behind your business. That is huge. A lot of people like to feel like they are part of an experience. That's why VIP experience is so widely used in marketing. People want to see what's going on behind the scenes. Instead of just talking about a product, show how it was made or show why you guys did it or what is all of the benefits of buying the product. Coming off in a non-salesy way through content that doesn't look like an ad is such an important thing to do nowadays. In 2022, a lot of people don't want to be sold. So you'll find over on TikTok that a lot of these brands are jumping on the trends that the content creators are making and having content creators make their ads for them that don't look like ads that are back from you know, early 90s or early 2000s, everything is totally different now. People don't want to feel sold. So the last tip I have is content curation, gathering information and topics that relate to your industry and showing up and putting out content every day and having a plan of how you're going to execute it. Maybe take one day to inspire, maybe take another day to promote, and then another day to educate. Jump on and give a tip. You don't need to show up every single day, but you need to go into it having a plan. Make your content a priority. Schedule it on your calendar. Give yourself some deadlines and some tasks in order to get it done. It is so important for your business. It is free marketing and you can reach so many people. So those are a few tips on small business that don't cost you any money, that can easily be done just with your phone. You don't need any elaborate video editing. You don't need any overly filtered photos nowadays. The great content is the authentic, genuine content and actually just showing up and showing your face and showing behind the scenes of your business. Great advice. I have a follow-up for you too on the last piece, the planning of content. What's your process for that? Do you take a day where you're writing out copy or captions or planning what you want to film and then another block where you film or what does that look like for you? That's a great question. And I think that it's so different for so many people. For me, I go into that notes that I have in my phone that we talked about in the other episode, but I have a lot of ideas in there. And I have a day where I block out uh, time, maybe it's one hour, maybe it's two hours, and I shoot and I batch a lot of my content. I finally get my hair done, my makeup on, which is not a normal thing. And those are the days that I say, okay, you have your makeup on, let's do this. I actually edit my videos as I'm shooting them, which is unique too. So I will be in there editing them and shooting them. So that way, when they're done, they're just done. I have found that when I shoot videos that I have to piece together, put captions, put wording at a later date, my creativity might be gone. My witty comments might be gone. So if I'm feeling creative, I need to just set up the ring light and go for it and and fully execute the video. I think that it's so important too that when you're feeling creative, you shoot the content and then also don't burn yourself out. I have gone through many burnouts with my personal content where I go so hard and so heavy that then it's been a two week span where I haven't done any and it's because I burnt myself out. So being consistent is important, but learn your limits and learn how to do it in different ways. You know, maybe you're just putting up a, a a quote to some music and it doesn't involve all this editing in your face and a ring light and transitions. There are ways to get your content across and reach so many people and your target audience that doesn't require too much energy and too much effort on your, on your part. 
I love that. And also, I didn't know that people didn't edit as they go. That's how I do it too. I can imagine doing it another way. So maybe I'm onto something if I'm doing it the same way you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do. I I do lives with other content creators and they shoot a bunch of things. And I guess if you're showing, you know, a time lapse of something or, you know, a bunch of different clips and of different backgrounds, but the majority of my videos are shot in my home. That's another thing. You know, gone are the days where you have to be at a tropical paradise and, uh, you know, this crazy influencer that travels the world to be successful. I shoot the majority of my videos in my home. I shoot the majority of my work agency videos right here at this desk and they do very well. And it's, it's something that you don't need a ton of experience editing. Just go on the app, start playing around and you'll see how easy these apps make it just within Instagram or within TikTok. There's so many features that you can easily do because I have people tell me all the time where well, I don't know how to make videos. And I say, it, it doesn't matter. There, there's so many easy ways. And if you're not someone who's great with transitions, then just sit there and talk same way you went on your stories. Just talk to the video, make it into a video and put it up, put some music, point your finger, do a little dance, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. So many different ways to do it. And knowing that your first videos are going to be absolute trash and take you <laughs> a while to do because there is a learning curve, but then you'll get so proficient and it just gets more and more fun. So, and they get better and better, I think. That is my biggest tip. Just go for it. Everybody's look awful. I look back at mine and I just, I, I cringe at them. But if you wait for them to be perfect, you might, you know, you might just never start, start. And that's the biggest thing is I just went for it. I didn't have a ring light that, you know, was super fancy at the beginning. I think I just propped my phone up and the lighting was bad. The words were bad. I don't even think I had the right feature. I was shooting uh, horizontal when you're supposed to be shooting vertical. I just, I just went for it and just know that it, the quality aspect of these videos is not the most important thing. It's just getting started and you're going to get better and better the more that you do them. Yeah. And just having fun with it. Well, this was great. Wonderful tips. Before we sign off, where can people find you and connect with you and work with you too, if they're looking for a social media and digital marketing agency? So we are Pink Door Agency. We're on Instagram and TikTok. You can find us there too. You could see some of our work and we also give away a lot of free tips. So you can go on our page and learn a lot about social media. I do lives on there as well. Usually a couple of times a month, I'll jump on and I always promote when they're going to be. And I answer your questions in live time. I talk to you about all the secrets of social media, the things that nobody's talking about how to really take your business to the next level with very little money in advertising. And then my personal is MRS Lauren Romero, Ms. Lauren Romero on TikTok and Instagram. I talk a lot there as well about social media, but then there's some humor, some videos. And if you ever have any questions, you can DM or I'm at Lauren at PinkDoorAgency.com. Well, thank you so much for coming back. This was great. If you didn't catch yesterday's interview, definitely go listen to that. And Lauren, can't wait to be in touch and to continue watching all your hilarious videos. Thank you so much. This episode was brought to you by Thea Collective, the learning community I founded for entrepreneurs. Text biz, that's B-I-Z, to 949-577-8709 or head to thea-collective.com. That's T-H-E-I-A-collective.com to learn more. Thanks for listening to the show. If you enjoyed today's episode, please help me get the word out about the corporate dropout by screenshotting and sharing this on social. I would appreciate it so much if you would subscribe and leave a five-star rating and review as well. And I do this show for you and I wanna hear from you. So tell me, what is it that you want more of? Text me at 949-541-0951 or slide into the DMs at Corporate Dropout Official or Alicia Citro with two underscores. Until next time.